before I get in, I just wanted you to know that every product that I'm using will be listed in the description below. So go ahead and check that out. I list the full face product. So just in case, all right, just in case you're looking for that, check it out. But the first product that I'm going to use is the Milk Hydro Grip. I love this girl. She holds your makeup really nicely. So I just do two pumps of that and then I like to keep that in the areas where I have the most pores. I just also wanted to say that I have a full base tutorial. Mm -hmm. I have a full base tutorial for beginners. So if you're looking, um, you know, so be sure to check that out so that you're, you know, you have the full tea on what is going into the base. So for foundation, I'm going to be going in with the Lancome. This is the Lancome Tint A Doll. I love this girl. Okay. She is literally the perfect shade match for me. If there's any foundation that you guys want me to try, comment below and let me know because I think I'm looking at trying a few other ones. I did hear, you know, a thing or two about Lady Gaga's um, House of Labs. Yeah. So let me know. Comment below and let me know. So next I'm going to go in with my concealer and for concealer I'm using the Maybelline. I don't know if you guys have seen this girl before, but I picked this up from Walmart. It's the Superstay um, Active Wear. So Maybelline apparently has a new Active Wear line. Comment below. Let me know. Have you tried that line before? I picked up their foundation and the concealer. The foundation is pretty dark, but I love me Maybelline. So... I'm not even complaining and I'm gonna top it up with because you guys know if you haven't watched the video again watch the video it will make sense and then I'll top it up with my tat tat I never know how to say this but tat tape whatever so this is not the tape shape but this is tat concealer this is a tat C concealer it's in the shade 53s deep sand now this is something that i picked up from sephora the lady at sephora said that this is a really good um product so and i've used it and i i kind of like it so but i haven't paired these two before so i'm like mm, i don't know if it's gonna work together but we'll see we'll see so let me i'll start off by putting um the maybelline and then i'll top it up with my tat So I'm going to use a dumb beauty blender because this concealer is water based. You guys see it's literally drying up on me. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend. You guys see how drying this concealer is? Tell me why it's dry before I can blend my under eye. Like, I'm so mad. I'm gonna go in with some height setting spray just to like bring it back. You always want to use the back of the beauty blender or the part where you don't have any product to soften the hash lines that you have so that that way it doesn't look, you know, <laughs> it needs to look blended, it needs to look seamless. Um, but next I'm going to go in with the Tarte Concealer. I love this girl. She's so cute. This is the mini size anyway. So if you go into Sephora and you try to purchase this let me know when you try it out let me know but i'm gonna put this in the inner corner here you guys already know the business that we do so right there They always say, don't be scared to try new things. They, it's literally not a lie. 
tell me why I haven't paired these two. Like, I never thought they were going to go well together. Because I'm like, mm, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I never thought to try them together. But I really like the coverage that is given. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with my cream blush, creme blush. This is from Fenty Beauty, the only trending lady right now. Um, but this is in the shade Decorate Dip. Yeah, cheeks out. That's what it's called. <laughs> and I love, I love me. I've been loving cream blushes of late, okay? It makes, it just gives you such a perfect skin-like blush look as compared to just powder. Have you used cream blushes before? Comment below, let me know. Um, but again, I've been loving, I've been loving cream blushes of late. This is more on the orange tone and I told you guys, if you're a black girl and you're not using an orange toned blush, what's the experience like? <laughs> like, you know, like what are you, what are you using? I just want to know because look at that. I guess I wanted to say something. But then I also wanted to show you because look at that. <laughs> so this blush is beautiful. I also have Maybelline Cheek Heat and Amaze Balls. Okay, this is amazing. So there's variety that you can buy. Let me, I'm also going to be doing a full face of drugstore makeup look. Just to like, you know, show all the products that will still give you the vibes of like high-end product because I'm here for it and you guys know I have been uh, a drugstore girl for years like all my old makeup videos a drugstore product so I've always been like a some sort of like a cheapskate all right because you gotta find the balance between high-end product and drugstore products and that's it for me you know because we have really good drugstore products that will still give you the look that you're going for so and then i'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender just to sort of you know push the concealer also into the blush slightly and you know just so that it's not like looking like that but like that <laughs> if you get what i'm trying to say so i don't want it to look entirely different i want it to merge with each other so i'm just being like really soft and then just pushing that in so i prefer that as compared to what we had before so i always like to set my under eye before i go in with my contour just so that you know, we have that nice transition. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye with Laura Mercier, the girl that has always been the girl. Have you tried this product before? This is literally my first time. Not in this video. I mean, this product is the first time that I'm trying anything from Laura Mercier. So let me know, have you tried this powder before? And for me, it's definitely, it lives up to the vibe. If you ask me one thing that i always like to do is go back in blend my under eye make sure that i don't have any creasing or creases i don't know <laughs> but i just want to make sure that everything is nice and smooth before i go in with a powder to set it you know so i just do that and i like to set my under eye before i bake if i have to bake so i'm gonna go in and just press the powder in You always want to look up when you're setting your under eye just so that you can, you know, get into all the nooks and the crannies, everything, just so that it's nice and clean and smooth. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to use is my contour, also from Fenty. So this is the powder foundation. This is in the shade Pro Filter Powder Foundation in the shade, shade 495. I know that it's in the shade Ebony because when I picked it up from Sephora, that's what I picked up. But it's also in the shade 495, I guess. I'm just going to go ahead and use that to bring some structure back into my face 
and I like the fact that this product is buildable so you're able to like make it look as nice and soft as you like and then you're also able to like make it look very you know chiseled if you wanted that vibe Okay, so I just quickly filled in my brows and today I feel like my brows are giving I don't know what but we'll just go with it uh, after you do your brows you always want to go in with your beauty blender and just soften the you want to always soften the areas that you have here the areas that you have around the perimeters just so that is nice and soft and then you can also go in with the brush that you use for your contour and just you know brush that over it you know I have a little pimple over here I don't know why she's there like why are you there <laughs> and why are you there oh my goodness okay so next I'm gonna go in and prep my eye area just so that we can do our eyeshadow I'm a concealer kind of girl okay I like to prep my eye area with a concealer I'm using the Maybelline eraser multi-use multi-use <laughs> this is in the shade 147.5 I'm just gonna put that over my lid I love this concealer it's nice and bright and it has like a nice dry undertone so using it over your eye area is just perfect for layering your eyeshadow over it so And I've come a little closer so that you guys can get a proper view of the eye look and then I just like to use the beauty blender to make it even smoother just so that you know because the eye area is super known for creasing <laughs> okay so next I'm gonna go in with my eyeshadow palette this is from Lime Prime okay it's the Venus XL palette it's super cute before I do the eyeshadow, I'm going to go in and set my under eye, not my under eye concealer, my, the concealer that I used to clean my brows just so that it doesn't look creamy. Because look at that. And look at this. So you don't want to leave that concealer without any powder. You always want to add some powder just to make it nice and clean but I also don't like to set the eyeshadow concealer so I just leave that by itself just so that my eyeshadow can you know layer over it that's just how I like to do it some people also like to set it which is cool but I've been doing this for a while and it works perfectly fine so I'll just stick to what I know so I'm gonna go in with this shade right here it's the shade passion so I'm just going to use that in my crease right here. And with eyeshadow, you always want to layer the color because if you do one, two brushes, I mean like just like apply one, two times, it's not going to give you the shade or the pigments that you're looking for. So you want to go in like five, six times but then you also want to be blending as you go so it's going to be building that color for you but then it also gives you that nice blend because you're not just putting the color down you're you know you're moving the brush as you go you're blending as you go and then you're building color as you go i feel like eyeshadow is literally the most exciting part of makeup because that's where you actually get to create something I mean overall with makeup you're creating a whole look but then with eyeshadow that's where you get to be more creative you know so that's where the brushes are working that's where your hand movement is working you definitely want to be more soft-handed with the brush so you see I'm holding my brush all the way at the end or at the end don't come for my brush okay this brush <laughs> she's so good from Sonia Kashuk it's a blending crease brush and see how nice and fluffy this is 
so this is what makes it easier for me to go in the areas that I'm going in and it blends as it goes so you want to get yourself a brush just like this I, I definitely should do an in-depth eyeshadow tutorial for beginners talking about what brushes you need and whatnot but yeah I, 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 I just wanted to say that <laughs> you definitely have to know your way around blending the products and just you know placing them with makeup it's a lot about like placement and then blending so when you place it well it's gonna make you look right and then when you don't it's gonna make you look like a caricature that is literally what it is so yeah and then next I'm gonna go in and cut my crease I'm using the same concealer and the trick with my cut crease is I always like to just place the color like so or the concealer and then I look up and I like to look side on side just so that you know and then it gives me that so it gives me so it gives me that all the way up the top and then I just go ahead and con um, connect that so sometimes it's not so it's not the best it doesn't give you like the best line but it gives you an idea of where your cut crease needs to end and then I'm just gonna go ahead and oh 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 I almost messed that up okay perfect so you just go ahead and connect the center part to meet the one at the top and yeah So I'm going in with this shade right here called Blank Canvas. It's just a clear shade. So I'm going back in with the same passion shade just to blend out the outer areas. Also when you're blending you definitely want to make sure that you're not being so harsh in this area because you want it to look like a gradient so it needs to look like a transition color so it needs to look like the white is transitioning into the pink and vice versa so this area right here you want to be nice and soft but you also want to make sure that you're merging the two and then like so see so that's I wasn't gonna do pink but tell me how I'm here tell me tell me how I'm ending up looking like a freaking Barbie like I look like a Barbie like I look like a literal Barbie <laughs> Next, I'm gonna go in with my mascara. I always like to do my mascara before I put on my lashes. But I'm gonna go in with some highlighter. I'm using, so I'm using this one from Physicians Formula. It's a whole palette. It has eyeshadow, blushes, and everything. But I'm just gonna use the highlighter palette over here. I think I'm gonna go in for this shade. It doesn't have a name. And then I'm gonna set my full face with my old bad girl. I picked it up today and I'm like, oh, I miss you. I have to use you because I haven't used you in a while. I feel like I lost the blush. Definitely. <laughs> I feel like I did. So I'm gonna go back in with this blush right here. It's my orange blush that is almost done, but trust me, I have some. I'm just gonna go back in with that to bring my blush back. Because I, I definitely like to look like I have blush on, so no, it's not going away.
I'm going in with soft lips from soft touch from Lime Crime. It's more on the peachy side, but when I put my nude lipstick or my nude lip gloss over it, it looks perfect. So let me show you guys. I just like to put that in the center and I know, I know it kind of looks peachy and it doesn't match with that, but wait. And then I'm going to go in with Maybelline Lifter Gloss. This girl is my jam, all right? Let me pull this thing back down because she looks crazy. <laughs> but I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Lifter Gloss. Um, this is in the shade Stone. This is very nude. I like to put this in the center. Oh, I think I'll... She looks cute. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter. And then I'm gonna put on my lashes, you know, do my hair look cute. And yeah, but I love the vibe already. What? So what? Okay guys, so this is what the finished look is given. You guys already probably saw the vibe, um, but I put on some earrings, you know, added some lashes. My lashes are from Kiss. Um, yeah, I totally like how everything turned out. I definitely didn't think it was going to be pink, but it's giving what it's supposed to give, all right? Comment below, let me know if you have any questions. Also, every product that I used, as always, will be in the description box for you guys so definitely be sure to check that out but i like the vibe all right i'm feeling myself it definitely looks cute it does look cute but thank you guys so much for watching give me give the video a huge thumbs up if you like it comment below subscribe become a part of the family and follow me on instagram if you don't already do that okay for the very quick type style videos follow me on instagram and tiktok because your girl is doing everything right now so follow me be sure to check out my platforms and i love you guys so much i'll see you guys in my next one bye <laughs>